Hi everyone. I <clears throat> hope you're all doing well. Sorry it's been so long. I've been a little busy doing um, Christmas cards and Christmas crafts and things like that. So I just haven't had time to do a video, but um, for my own needs and because I have always wanted to um, redo this technique uh, with a proper video set up, set up and since I'm in need of some of these items I decided to do that today so what we're going to do is uh, making your own vellum with wax candles and an iron and uh, so I'm just going to go through uh, my newest uh, kit here that I had some runoffs from A Happy Christmas. I'm probably going to be waxing these in the wreath and um, I've made for myself and I'm going to offer it for free uh, some Christmas words, Christmas phrases, uh, texts that I can use because this is one of the most um, most used ways that I use this most ways that I use this technique when I want to make little uh, word tags to put on cards and um, tags and things like that when I don't want to stamp words but these look very nice when they have when they are wax vellumed and um, they look professional so that's what I often use on cards and things when I don't want to stamp. I have this to show you what it looks like when it's see-through. So what you will need are some plain white wax candles. Um, you can use uh, just old copy paper for blotting. You can use aluminum foil to make the uh, paper hotter, more hot. And you'll need some things for blotting, which I'll talk about that in a minute, but I often use either just scrap copy paper or construction paper because it absorbs a lot of ink. You can use old watercolor sheets. Uh, or it absorbs a lot of wax, I mean. And then I also use baking paper or parchment paper for my top before I put my iron on my whatever I want to vellum. So I think I'll try the aluminum foil. And you'll need a hot iron, which my iron is hot. Just open these candles here. Where's my utility knife? Of course, it's hidden. The candle was down to the wick, so I had to get a new one, some new ones. Okay, you might also be able to do this with a heat gun, that I don't know. So I guess first I'll just do these little kids from one of my, this is printed at a smaller percentage, but I'll, I, I wanted to do some things in color as well as black and white. 
Uh, let me put another sheet. Putting a sheet, and I have a towel here on my table because I don't want to melt my table or my my uh, working mat. So this is not my usual setup. Um, usually I just do this in the laundry room. So you put down your um, sheet, what you want to vellum. You can use your aluminum foil to make it harder. And then your piece of parchment. And you get your candle handy. And you just go over it. Until your paper is nice and hot. And you'll know it's nice and hot. Because you will barely be able to touch it. And as soon as you put your candle to it, which it might go a little slower here because my iron isn't as close as I would like it to be. Yes, okay, my candle is melting. I think I'll do away with the aluminum foil just, just for quickness. And so you can see through here, hopefully. So you just heat your paper. Let me try to make room a little closer here. Usually I have to do it several times, but once it gets hot and the wax helps keep the heat. Which this is probably too far away. And you can't see my wax melting, but I can see it. And you'll be able to tell because um, where your wax is is a little shiny and the places you've missed will be a little dull. And this one is done already. And you can see all that wax left on the paper. So I'm going to quickly blot. see that see that shine on there you want to blot until that shine is gone because that's excess wax and also what you can do I'm gonna do that you can use another sheet that you might want vellumed as a blotter And it will take longer, but as you go, <laughs> you keep that with your stuff and always use it. Eventually it will become vellum as well because you're using it to pick up all the wax. Now, I have had some of these things I've vellumed. Um, you can see, hopefully. I've had some of these things I've vellumed for at least two years and they've never, oh geez I have a sun glare coming in today. Let me stand up a minute because I have glare also on my screen. So you can see that through there. And as I said I've had some of these for two years. It's never cracked. It's never deteriorated. Um, it's never yellowed. Um, 
The only thing I do not know, and these are great for book. It feels so great too. You'll, you'll, you're going to love it. The only thing I do not know is if you use it to make bookmarks and you put it in a book. It's never happened, but if you put it in a book in a warm car or something, uh, it might... might have the potential to melt again, but I highly doubt it. So anyway, it's a lovely tactile feel and um, it, when you have a floral or something, let me just, where's my wreath? I'm going to do the wreath here quickly for you. When you have a floral or something, you can use it as a flip down on a page. Um, I'm pretty sure you can still write on it, but I honestly can't remember. Um, let me see. Where'd you go? Get a pen here. A piece of paper. Yeah, you can still write on it. Let me try back. Okay. Yeah, you can still write on it. That I did not know. So anyway, it can be a flip down and you can see uh, through it on a page. It feels beautiful. And just do this little wreath and then I will do some words. Um, and this this will be lovely for on a card or um, a tag, gift tag, taped on a cookie, cookie tin or something. You can see how much of my candle melted already. So. Keep plenty of candles on hand. Trying to move around maneuver around cords here too. So I hope you're all doing well. I'm fine. It just happened that Somehow I got a little bit, oh, that's very hot now. Somehow I got a little behind, and it seems like I've been behind ever since. So I'm just going to uh, cover the whole thing here. Apparently even my scraps will be vellumed. Can use those to stamp on maybe after I fussy cut that. See all that wax on there? I don't know if you can see it, but you do get a lot of wax left over. And I would be very curious to know if the heat gun would work as well. That way I could just keep one tool in my craft room. So there. Let me blot some more. I still have some shiny. So I can show you 
what it looks like after it's blotted. Okay, so there's virtually no, there's virtually no shiny left on there. There, you can see how well you can see through it, which is very similar to vellum. And again, it's um just beautiful, beautiful the way it feels. Okay, now I'm going to start what I need this for and what I use it for mostly. Uh, let me get one here that's easy to cut off and we'll do the whole sheet. Maybe a little close together for some of you, but I'm sure most people can manage it. Okay, so I'm going to put these all free <clears throat> in a link below to my site so that it... Um, is always there and I don't have to worry about the link disappearing. I don't need that yet. So this looks like you um when you use it to do words, this literally looks like it's already picking up wax from below. It literally looks like you just stamped on vellum. So I have a whole sheet of other words, everyday words, thinking of you, just a note, oh, get well, things like that, that I keep in my drawer. When I need a quick word and I don't feel like stamping, because I don't have stamps, I'm starting to collect more text stamps, but you know how stamping is if you're not a pro at it. And I'm not a pro at it, I'll tell you that right now. So usually I try to get the whole sheet just so I don't have to worry about it. This might take a couple tries here. And again, I hope you're all doing well. I'm hoping to do my first Etsy share soon. I'm behind on a flower tutorial I wanted to do. I don't know what happens. You just seems like you get behind and then you can't catch up. So I haven't done a video in a while. Let me see if you can see that. I haven't done a video see those little white spaces that's how you can tell when the 
sheet is not covered with wax. So I have to keep going a little here. Not long. So like I said, I'm hoping to do my first Etsy share. A lovely person I met and purchased from. I have um I have created some things. Oh, come on. Have created some things with what I bought, but have to get some presentation paper. Well, that's pretty good. Doesn't even need much. Little bit of blotting. Oh, wait a minute, missed another spot. Have to get some presentation paper and either make some flowers or buy some flowers. And I have been using my funds for Christmas things. Got some new dies, got some got a new embossing folder, got some Christmas color paper, which I'm not prone to using those colors. So okay, there is the um here is the text. Let me stand up again. Here is the text. And I just cut that out, put it on my cards, tags, whatever. And it looks like it's very professional. And add a little diamond or make it a fishtail, whatever. Uh, ink the edges. Um, sometimes I gold, go around the edges in gold, add a little embellishment and you have a very professional looking word. And you can also, you know, use it as a cover on top of a card. Another flip down. You can use writing text, print it out, whatever. And it just, it's just absolutely beautiful. So, I think that's good. I hope this will be a better demonstration. Um, wreath. Here's my little wreath. Here's my little girls. These will look pretty on a card. Um, and again, you can use uh, another sheet for your blotting paper and then over time as it picks up more and more wax it will become vellum too so that way you don't waste your wax and you can create something new so um, I think that's it yeah I think that's it Guess I'll just stay here and finish these while I'm at it. And I will again I will post a link to these. Let me give a run through here. They're uh, summer cursive. 
some are um, larger some I just took from a free PNG poster and re kind of redid it so it was more cuttable easier to cut and some are um, non-script text but it's just simple usual Christmas words merry and bright joy Noel Merry Christmas wonder believe in wonder let it snow good tidings to you blessed Christmas happy Christmas it's the most wonderful time of the year and these are things I'm going to be putting on my own cards so I think all together there's four sheets so that link will be below you can use it if you want you can vellum your own things um, again I use this technique pretty often and then I just uh, keep the vellum items in a folder and when I want something vellum I just go in that folder and uh, use it for that particular project especially words okay have a good one everyone sorry it's been so long and I hope you didn't forget about me have a great day and a great week bye